Hi, and welcome to Relationally Speaking with Lynn Haroff. This is sponsored by Strategic Advisor Board. I'm an award-winning author of the rom-com Miss Snickers, and I speak to groups in the areas of personality styles, effective communication, team building, stress management, and I'm glad you're here today. So today, well, basically a review of what we're starting off with. This week is about tools, tools to help our relationships to be strengthened, but tools that we're also going to use as we get into more detail of different personality styles and finding out where we're coming from or where someone else is coming from. And again, this week is about the tools. So we talked some about listening effectively, observing, and today I want to talk about listening to yourself. Um, I remember one time way back and I was in college and I was talking about something I was really trying to figure out. And maybe you're somebody who, that, that's something I can bring up real quick. Someone, some of us process externally, more expressive. I'm a more of an expressive, I express and I find out what I'm thinking even by talking and, and um, writing things out. And some of us process internally. And so um, in that, I was talking to a friend and expressing, I guess, externally, because we were talking. And she said to myself, or she said to me, um, listen to yourself. And I was like, <laughs> I, know, I know that sounds so, so simple, so basic. But it hit me in a way that I hadn't really heard it before. And it was, I was really struggling and trying to grapple with something. And I wonder if I'm looking externally to the feedback. It's, and that's what we do sometimes. We're looking for reflection, for feedback, to see where, what we're thinking or what the other person is thinking, but about our, you know, our situation. But she basically put that back on me and said, listen to yourself. And I just tell you, that is a game changer to listen to yourself and listen to what you're thinking about what's going on, grappling with, um, to just hear what you're, you're saying to yourself or saying out loud and, um, or in your journal, you know, reflecting in your journal and that that can be just something that can move things along in a great way. So I bring this up in part to say that there's a terminology for when we're dealing with relationships and, and just in life in general, and that is show up, filled up. So we show up to our workplace filled up. We show up to our families filled up. We show up to whatever it is that we need to do to for our responsibilities filled up. And that is seeming to be, it's kind of a struggle in some ways more than ever. And Part of the reason I bring this up is listening to yourself can be a way of getting filled up again. Um, f uh, find your way to get centered, get grounded again, re revive, you know, refill up so that when we are walking into situations and um, type um, in our times with people, we can show up filled up and um and that can be a game changer. So even in the even after we hang up here on this hang up on this call, um, if if you just want to take a minute, close your eyes, and just listen to yourself for a minute. Ask yourself what do you need, and follow through with that. Maybe you need a massage. Maybe you need a ten minute walk. Maybe you need to breathe. Uh, maybe you need to call your friend and just or make a special night with your special someone. And in that. It, that can help you and me to show up filled up. Well, thanks for being here today. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to put them below. And please like, subscribe, and have comments that we can um, I can respond back to. Uh, and I just hope you have a great day. I hope you show up filled up. I hope you are filled up and you feel refreshed. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <music>